Okay, so it's the morning of the 16th of October and actually the day of the Lee Bardugo signing, unlike yesterday when I thought it was. It's fine. <laughs> um, at least I didn't show up to the library and it was not the day of the signing. So my plan is that it kind of doesn't make sense for me to go home and then go to the signing, so I'm going to go to the signing early and just hang out at the library. So I'm going to bring my current read, which is Hunting Prince Dracula, and I'm on page 77. I'm absolutely adoring this series of art. Thomas Cresswell is my everything. He is just so great. Like, I'm in love with this series. It's just, it's fantastic, like, ugh. and like in the beginning there's a murder that takes place and they're on the Orient Express and I'm like, oh my god, this is a call to murder on the Orient Express, which is cool like how like stuff is incorporated in. This is the book that I'm bringing to be signed, Six of Crows Collector's Edition, because my regular edition Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are signed because at the King of Scars signing I could bring two books, so I'm gonna get this one signed and the next time I meet Lee Bardugo I'll get my Crooked Kingdom Collector's Edition signed. And I'm going to be transporting them in these guys. So this is like an actual book sleeve that I got from the Dark Dawn box. And then this is just like the thing that the book came in. So I've actually found that these are really useful for transporting books, especially because I don't want them to get like knocked around in my bag. So now you will see some footage from the Cambridge Public Library. Oh, while I'm at the library, I'm going to get a library card because I don't have one for here and I definitely need it. So there's recipes there, and have lunch, and there's a lot of offices around so people come in and have events there, and there's uh, three churches, and it's where the original meeting house of the colony was. Um, and it's where the first cemetery of the town was. And they moved the cemetery to Grove Street, but they didn't move all the bodies. So there are about 30,000 bodies under the New Haven Green where people are playing with their Christmas and having their lunch. <laughs> and when Hurricane Sandy hit, <laughs> So I don't think it's necessarily about age range. I think it's about the expectation of the reader. 
I think that um, when readers come to YA, they expect a certain level of violence, a certain level of sexuality. Um, I think they expect a certain pace. Like, they don't want to hear you describe a wine for eight pages, you know? <laughs> but there are readers who want that who will then go to a particular kind of fantasy that is usually marketed towards adults. Um, so I think there are certain expectations that readers bring to YA. But I think beyond that, and I think, you know, yes, the age of the characters, you don't usually see adult POV or parent POV in YA. But I don't think there are any hard and fast rules other than what the reader expects when they pull something off of that shelf. May I? Well, I will, I will say the two things I always say, which is that um, a young adult editor at one point defined way for me, in a very useful way, she said it's the story of somebody who is experiencing something for the first time, mm -hmm. coming into the, 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 some kind of agency or power, coming a community or a family. Hello, it is Sunday, yeah, October 20th. I have not vlogged in a long time. I went to the ninth house signing, it's absolutely amazing. I am probably going to start ninth house once I um, finish my current book. There we go, that's the sign page. It was amazing. So in the meantime, I picked up Monstrous and this might be my new favorite comic ever. I have had my eye on it for so long and I'm so glad I finally picked it up because it was just such a beautiful experience reading. It just has this like beautiful art deco style and it's just stunning. Um, let me find like a really cool panel. Oh, and there's a talking cat. So if you're fans of talking cats. And there's this little fox girl and she's so cute. And I just am really into this story. Like this artwork. Oh phenomenal there's so many twists and turns it's like this uh, world that's divided between the arcanics and the humans and they're at war and Maika half wolf is our main character and like she has this dark force within her and there's a mystery surrounding her mother so she's trying to go get answers and like it's so phenomenal and I need to get my hands on the next issues as soon as I can because I'm loving it next up I'm in the middle of hunting Prince Dracula which is also phenomenal. I'm on page 309, so I'm getting close to the end. So many tabs. Like, this series is just so good. Like, the mystery and the intrigue is just, like, good. It's The romance is, like, one of the most supporting and caring relationships, and you can really see them when they make mistakes, they overcome it, and it's just really healthy and really refreshing. I love it so much, but like, yet their banter is amazing. Oh, I, you can just tell that Carrie Maniscalco put the effort in to make sure that their relationship is very balanced and very equal. I have already ordered the next book because I want to be diving into it as soon as I possibly can. It's just phenomenal. Yeah, I um, will maybe finish this one tonight. I don't know. And then start Ninth House. That's really my update for now. I'm buddy reading this one with Isabella, of course, from Throne of Pages. We're having a blast buddy reading it. I think we're going to buddy read the whole series. It's going to be amazing because it's just so great being able to talk about this book with someone else because like I have so many things I need to scream about all the time because it's just so good and it's so perfect for this time of year too. October is just like great and where I am right now like okay so this one this novel takes place in Romania and like they're in the Vlad the Impaler's castle and it's funny that I actually know a lot about the story of Vlad the Impaler from the And I Darken series which is a gender bent retelling of Vlad the Impaler so like all the like terms and stuff like that it's funny that I know that from there but uh, it's so good it's so good and I can't wait to continue on with this series because it's just becoming one of my new favorites and I didn't expect that next I really want to try and find the audiobook for the cruel prince but I am having so much trouble finding it on like Libby or Scribd or Hoopla or like anything. I don't know why. I am on hold on Libby, but it's going to take like six weeks. So maybe I just listened to the audiobook for The Wicked King because I've already read The Cool Prince twice just to prepare for Queen of Nothing um, in case I don't have time to reread it physically. I don't know. I kind of like rereading things on audiobook sometimes. It's cool to like experience it in a new way. <sighs> I don't know. Make up my mind later, but that is my update for now. Well, I definitely stayed up way too late to finish this, but it was just so 
intense and amazing at the end i could not put it down in any sense like look at all of these tabs i freaking adore this series i adore audrey rose as a character she loves science and goes after this career that she wants even though it's the 1800s and things are not fair for women and then like thomas cresswell is just so supportive and they're both so smart and i love it and it's so so good it's so good this has to be my new favorite ship like and the end of this book was just like so intense and scary and like it was so well written my heart was pounding i was like oh my god what's gonna happen and i was like i should go to bed i'm like i can't i can't go to bed physically when like this is happening this was so good and like i need to continue on with this series as soon as possible because it's just amazing like i oh i did not mean to zoom in like that uh, crackhead energy anyways <laughs> oh my god um i'm gonna go to bed now because it's really late and i need to go to work tomorrow mm -hmm. hello it's wednesday october 23rd and i am currently not reading anything but i want to start a book tonight however i have book mail first so i figured why not uh, open it on camera like i usually do so let's just get on with the first one ha this is escaping from houdini which is the third novel in the stocking jack the ripper series which i have been absolutely just like flying through and adoring i've been buddy reading the whole thing with isabella from Thorn pages and it has honestly just been such a blast to read with her we have we finished Talking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula both in October and I like adore both of these books and it's crazy because I didn't think I would like the series before I started it so of course uh, before I even finished the second book I went and ordered the third one immediately so uh ooh, the quote on the back is it was both glorious and terrifying holding someone's life in my hands sure and steady with my scalpel I had the power to end it with a swift flick of the blade the power to end him Sounds good. All right, next package. And this one, I had held myself off on for a little while, but like I knew I could no longer because it is the next collector's edition in the A, a Darker Shade of Magic. This is what I need to finish my collection. I love the white on the side. Oh, it's so pretty. They also have the Barnes and Noble's collector's editions, but I just absolutely adore these black covers so underneath the cover it says arsenal or anoche which means like farewell sad and then this is the cover art and then in the back there is more cover art oh just look at that and then i believe there is a short story in the back and it's about kel's parents it's pretty short so um i think i might need to read this B. Schwab says there is a new series set in the Darker Shade of Magic world coming out soon. Like she's writing it called Threads of Power and it's like involving a new cast. Ugh, this is just one of my favorite series and it's been such a joy to collect these collector's editions. They look so stunning on my shelves. And now I'm gonna need to rearrange some stuff to get it on there. Ugh. Okay, so now I have these guys here, the comic here. The collector's editions, my paperbacks. I will probably be collecting the regular ones in hardback too. Just some accessories. Then Vicious, Vengeful. I need this one in hardcover too. The Savage Song, Our Dark Duet, and then my Cool Prince books. So that's that for now, but now I have some misplaced books, which seems to be happening more and more often. I need another bookshelf. Like, I just have piles of books underneath my coffee table. I'm going to start. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Finally, this is our pick for the Overhyped Book Club. So I gotta get into it. And I've been so excited for this book. It's time. I went to the signing last week, which was amazing. And Hello, it is time for me to go to the BTS. Love yourself, speak yourself, the final concert. Streaming theaters. I got my cute little heart on my face. And I have my sweatshirt that is this. And then on the back, it is this. And... No shame, love yourself, great message. It's actually my first ever time going to the theaters by myself. I don't know why I've never been to the theaters by myself, but I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be an emotional experience for me. 
And that's that. Um, other news, I've been reading Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. It's great. I'm on page 147. Really dark and spooky. Loving it so far. But yeah, I gotta run to the movie now, so see you later. Hello, it's late and I wanna go to bed, but before I do, the movie was amazing, it was everything, and I just got this really cool thing there where this like Boston Army Twitter people were handing out photo cards. So we got these photo cards that I like they just printed them, them themselves. So like you know, and it was really cute and it came with a wooden purple heart that is just super adorable. So it's just such a nice touch that people would like go out of their way to do that. So we have this one. Kind of a glare, but whatever. That was super nice and I'm definitely gonna use these for journaling. Thank you to, you know, Boston Army for printing that out. And with that, I really need to go to sleep, but we'll see if I'll actually sleep because I'm drinking a soda the whole time. I thought that's gonna be in it, so uh, might be a bleed all night. Oh well, worth it. Hello, it's Tuesday, October. 29th I think yeah 29th and I haven't done any reading since Sunday and like that's okay I had a long day today I was just very stressed out and I just like kind of realized that I wasn't in the mood to read when I got home and so I'm just not gonna read tonight I really want to catch up on booktube and some other stuff that I want to watch and I have limited time so I kind of just have to sometimes choose one thing or the other I also really want a bullet journal but I probably We'll save that for the weekend when I have like a big chunk of time to do that. Um, I also tend to get stressed out on weekends where I have stuff going on and I've had stuff going on these past two weekends like kind of in a row. My reading for like tomorrow or another day when I feel better and when I feel more like I'm caught up on all the videos that I want to watch because I haven't watched so many because I've just been busy. I'm also like kind of happy that the new releases are slowing down a bit in November, December because I need time to catch up on everything that I want to read. The main reason I'm here is because I got a gift card and so I got myself some stuff and uh, we're going to unbox it because this is going to be very exciting. So I have Monstrous here. I'm so excited to have this issue. I have been absolutely falling head over heels in love with this comic. I've just read the first volume and then I just immediately purchased the second volume because I loved it and when I got this gift card, I purchased the third volume and there's four out right now. This is like the first comic series that I've actually fallen head over heels in love with and I just like love the feeling of comics and like, or I guess I don't know if it's a comic or a graphic novel, um, you know, either or, probably graphic novel depending how thick it is. But yeah, I kind of love collecting these like issues instead of like the big bind up of I think the first four because then I feel like I would have to wait for the next bind up instead of buying these like as they come out. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. Like, please check out this series if you are a high fantasy reader and you want to get into comics because it's like a high fantasy comic. It's amazing. I'm just loving, loving, loving it so far. Okay, so the next thing is a BTS album. For BTS albums, I actually only have Persona. This is the first album that I bought. Before I go into this, I have been thinking a lot recently, and especially reading vlogs. There's something that I really like to watch because it's the place where creators get to express themselves more on like a one-on-one -on -one personal basis. There's really no structure besides just giving updates about your life and about what you've been reading, but it can be so much more than that. It can really be whatever you want. Um, and I really feel like they're a good platform to get to know creators, but sometimes I think people complain because a lot of people in booktube have been getting into BTS and they're like, there's BTS all over, blah, blah, blah. So my one thing that I have to say to that is, if you don't like it, don't watch, skip. I don't, I don't care. I really, if you wanna exit out of this video, like go right ahead. I don't care because I make these videos for me, 
for myself because I like making content talking about books but my other interests and if you like it fine if you don't like you know whatever and I just hate this mentality that like creators owe something to their audience especially like on booktube where everyone is such a small it's, it's a community of a lot of smaller creators and like the big creators in our community are still like small compared to other communities you know so I just think we should all feel free to make the content we like and speak about the things that we enjoy and not have to feel like we have to be beholden to anyone because you know there's this undercurrent kind of like on twitter or other places of like oh like enough with this bts content so you know what? i'm going to talk about what makes me happy because this is my space to express myself and if people like it and watch it like thank you but if not like that's okay that's your personal choice it's your time you can do with your time what you please and if you don't want to spend your time you know consuming bts related content on booktube then just like don't but don't demand something of a creator or, or don't think that you're entitled for that creator to change their interests or what they're posting just to please you it's not on the creator anyways long-winded rant so so far i only have persona and i only have version two i don't know if i'm gonna I, I mean i think eventually i'll maybe collect all the different versions but right now i'm just i'm just starting small and i'm starting really slow actually yeah this is the only one i have so far to this point i have a sugar uni photo card this like stand-up thing and the this thingy and a jimin postcard which he just is so cute there and then the other thing that i got was the notes because bts has this whole like universe this is like a full out like book it has this whole universe that is involved in its music videos and stuff and so i when i was first getting into bts this is one of the things that really got me into them is i just like dive dove head first into all the content there's also a free web comic this is like a book and it's in english because i can't read korean and i'm excited to i'm gonna like dedicate time to dive in because i feel like there's so many theories and stuff and i just like love content where you don't know what's happening and you need to dive in and create all these theories and there's like constantly stuff being added to the universe and you're like constantly questioning i just think it's really fun um and i love like analyzing stuff like that and then like going back and watching video music videos over and over and every time picking up on new clues and ways that it connects i just think that is like the best thing so that was a long-winded prologue to the fact that i bought another album because i got a gift card and it's time to open it <laughs> it's here okay the big poster which i also think that they use this photo shoot in run bts all right it's here she's so shiny and pretty it's love yourself answer okay so this is only the second time that i'm pulling a photo card and i'm like actually kind of stressed about it like it's a big moment you know, like don't think it is until you like get one <gasps> no <laughs> oh Oh my god. No way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I need a second. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like the best photo card ever. I can't believe I pulled this. Are you kidding? Me? Okay, listen. I'm not the type to ever be like a fangirl about anything, but like I just don't know why why BTS does this to me. Like how or why or like i just don't know okay this paper is really cool look at these stickers this is so cute i need to go now because i'm emotional <laughs> <laughs> 